You guys having a great time? Let me ask this question. Well, let me back up. Before I get started, did John O. Jones do an amazing job? Let's stand up and give him a round of applause. Get out of your seats and give him a round of applause. Guys, let me tell you, I call him the bishop. And whenever I'm in his presence, I just listen because he has a wealth of knowledge. He has a wealth of knowledge. He's actually paved the way for every one of these platinums as senior vice presidents in this entire company. He did it first. And I'm just honored to be in business with John O. Jones. And I tell you, and I'll say this publicly in front of everybody, John, if you ever feel some aches in your shoulders, it's probably because I'm standing on your shoulders. Are you guys with me? I also want to give it up to the double platinum C Vice President Tupac the Rennecourt. Did he do an amazing job? How about Nicole Kimbrough, double platinum C and Vice President? Did she do an amazing job? How about Marshall Faustin? Did he rock the house? How about Ramel? Did Ramel rock the house? Awesome, awesome. I, I'm excited. I'm excited. How you guys doing? Let me ask a question. Who wants a breakthrough in your business this weekend? How many of you guys are here for the very first time? Please stand up if you're here for the very first time. Let's give them a round of applause. Remain standing for one second. See, here's what I know. Some of you guys came here today on your last dime. Some of you guys came here on your last dime. But here's what I can promise you from a pos position of strength. After this weekend, your life will be changed forever. And it's going to be so worth it. Let me tell you guys real briefly. Yesterday, May 14th, marked eight years since I've been in Five Links. And yesterday in my suite, as I just gave thanks for this opportunity, because my life eight years ago, guys, I was 44 years old. And my life went like this. I was driving a bus 80 to 100 hours a week, six to seven days a week. And I thought I was free, but I was just broke on a higher level. True story. And I actually prayed for an opportunity. I prayed for something to come my way. And my nephew introduced this opportunity to me. And I'm telling you, like a lot of you guys who just getting started in this business, I was scared to death. But I was too scared not to get started. Because I needed this opportunity. Because eight years ago, my wife didn't like me and my kids didn't know me. Because I was on a bus every day in the ghetto where I came from to pay for a house that I couldn't afford. Is that insane? And I got started like a lot of you guys. And I went to my family members and I went to my co-workers and they all said the same thing they're telling you. Go on with that. Those things don't work. Who knows what I'm talking about? Get them way up. And I had a decision to make. And my lower self was telling me to quit. 
Our Lord Self was telling me that, you know what? You just need to be thankful for your job. You graduated from high school and you couldn't read. And you were strung out on drugs. You were a slave to drugs for four years. By God's grace and favor, you were healed from addiction. You just need to get back on your bus and be thankful for your job. And my higher self said that you are more than a conqueror. That you can do anything that you want to do. That you're free. There's no limits on your life. And every time that lower voice would speak, I would just look over my shoulder and say, shut up. I'm going to do this. And I press forward, reach senior vice president, platinum senior vice president, double platinum senior vice president, made millions of dollars, wrote a book from the bus to the Bentley, won the 2013 Steve Harvey Neighborhood Awards. And I want to thank you family for voting for me. Because you voted for me, now I get to go back in the ghettos of Washington, D.C. and bless so many at-risk kids and let them know that it's possible and you can see beyond your circumstances. You can do it. Am I making sense? I wanted to share that with you guys because I wanted to connect with you today. Because... A lot of you guys are excited. How many of you guys are excited? But few of you guys are serious. See, these people down front, they are seriously excited. Most of you guys are excited, but you're not serious. And the reason I share my story with the world, guys, because I have nothing to lose. I came from absolutely nothing. And I said, God, if you bless me to get to the top of this company, I'll tell the world my story and I'll give you all the grace. I mean, the favor. I will give you all the credit. Am I making sense? So I'm going to do this training today on how to conquer your chicken list. Now, here's what I want you to do. Are you guys with me? Are we in agreement? Yes or no? Here's the deal. If you have a chicken list, and you're on the sound of my voice right now. And a chicken list basically is a list of people that you're afraid to talk to about the deal. Are you guys with me? If you have a chicken list, stand up right now. We're all family. And it's okay. If you have a chicken list on the sound of my voice, and I'm going to wait because if you don't stand up, guess what? You ain't serious. And you're not going to win with this deal. Who wants a breakthrough in their business today? I want to acknowledge you guys for standing. But here's the deal. Remain standing. Here's the deal. The reason you have this chicken list, simply because your why is not strong enough. The people on your list, here's the short, here's the skinny. The people on your list is bigger than your why. That's all it is. And if you're going to ever get to the top of this company, you're going to have to deal with that chicken list. I had to get through that early in my business. That would make it sense. See, my why, I'll go through that wall for my why. My brother is my why. When I started this business, eight years ago, he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. They gave him four months to live. The day he's been living with eight years with pancreatic cancer. And every time this business got hard and I thought about not sharing this opportunity with somebody, I would think about the pain and the 34 surgeries he had to go through. And it pushed me to action and make it sense. Okay? So we're going to do, we're going to get rid of all of those chicken lists. 
And if you're taking notes, here's what I want you to do while I'm speaking in here. I want you to begin to write down on a clean sheet of paper, separate sheet, the people who are on your chicken list. Are you guys with me? Yes or no? Okay, now let's get started. Now, what is a chicken list? It's simply a list of people that you're afraid to talk about the deal. Okay, these are people you consider successful based on their occupation and their life experience. People that you look up to. Here's what I want you to understand. Everybody in this room, from the co-founders to the SVPs to the Platinums, had a chicken list. Are you guys with me? Everyone that breathed had a chicken list at some point in this industry. Okay? Now, why do we have them? Simply because we're new to the industry. And most of us, like myself, I didn't have a clue as to what I was getting involved with with this deal. This was all Chinese to me. Okay? We don't understand the power of the industry. I'm telling you guys from a position of strength. If you really understood the power of this industry, you'd break your neck to get the SVP. And then there's fear. Okay? We know what fear stands for, right? What does it stand for? False evidence appearing real. Okay? Now, here's what I want you to know. Everyone has fear. If you're human. And if you don't have fear, it simply means you ain't doing nothing. Do you get that? The difference between people who are successful and people who are not successful, successful people move towards the fear. They do it afraid. Somebody say, do it afraid. Unsuccessful people retreat from the fear. Are you guys with me? Now, then there's what people think. And this is all natural when you're getting started with this business, guys. So don't feel like you're kind of weird because you're wondering what your neighbor th think, you know. But get this. Isn't it always the brokest ones that we worry about? Like the neighbor next door with that big old house with the paper shades? In the unfinished basement for the last five years? Who knows what I'm talking about? How about the one that's driving the Mercedes with the check engine light on? Who knows what I'm talking about? But think about it, guys. These are the people that we're afraid to talk to about the deal, and they need the deal. Yes or yes? They're just like me. They're just broke on a higher level. Am I making sense? Yeah. And then there's... Failure. Nobody wants to fail. This is all human. Nobody wants to fail, right? Write this down. Fail forward. Fail forward. Get this. This is what I got earlier in my career with Five Links and in this industry. If you fall, that floor is going to catch you. If you fall, that fall gonna catch you. Fail fast in this deal. Am I making sense so far? Here's some key facts about the industry. Guys, when you get this, the chicken list goes away. When you truly get this in your spirit and your soul, the chicken list goes away. This industry is producing more millionaires than any other industry out there, period, point blank, end of story. There is a guy by the name of Paul Zane Pilser. Pilser. He's an economist. He predicts that over the next few years, 10 million millionaires will come out this industry. Do you guys get this? When you truly, 
When you truly get this, your chicken list goes away. How many millionaires coming out of your job? How many millionaires on your job? See, what I had to do was reverse the way I think. Am I making sense? 10 million millionaires are coming right out of this industry, and my goal is to help develop 100 millionaires out of my organization. Now, it's a $167 billion industry that we're able to participate in. I'm excited. I'm excited, can I be honest with you guys? I'm excited just to be able to participate. Are you kidding me? All right, now, get this, the power of residual income. I'm telling you from a position of strength, ain't nothing like residual income. <laughs> I'm telling you, and everybody needed in 2014. There's nothing like residual income. I remember my residual income was $16.50. And most of you guys would look at that and laugh and quit. But what I seen, the bus driver from around the way, with my good PhD, public high school diploma. <laughs> yes? I seen that it'll just keep going up 50 cent. 50 cent, 50 cent, 50 cent. 50 cent turned into hundreds. Hundreds turned into thousands. Are you guys with me? There's nothing like residual income. And then there's leverage, right? Get this, here's what you gotta understand. And when you get this, the chicken list goes away. Once you get it down in your soul, the chicken list goes away. Leverage, when you build your organization, guys, that's an asset. And guess what? It's worth money. Are you guys with me? So as you start to build your little team, your little organization, I remember starting out with three people. Today I got over 77,000 people in my organization. That's an asset. If something happens to me or today or tomorrow, that goes to my kids. Are you guys with me? The power residual income and leverage. Now, low startup investment versus compared to a, a traditional business, okay? Get this, for $49.95 a month, I get to run a multi-million dollar operation called the Richards Group Corporation with a laptop and a cell phone anywhere in the country. How cool is that? I'm telling you, when you get this and your soul, the chicken list goes away, compared to a traditional business. To start up a McDonald's costs you $2 million. Cash. Who got that? And then you're going to live there. Am I making sense? Let's talk about the benefits of our great companies. Number one, the company is documented. We ain't no startup company. We've been around for 13 years. However, there's still a ground floor opportunity in wellness. Hello? Inc. 500 Company. We got, get this guys, when you get this, the chicken, let's go to, we got the best co-founders in the industry. <laughs> Craig Jerbeck is like the Bill Gates of the game. Jason and Jeb, they know the direct sales industry, okay? So they got our back. The company is documented. William Fawcett, he's the Barack Obama of the industry. I'm telling you, I don't know how he keep this glue together. You know, this guy never sweats. This is what I love about you, our company. And when you get this, when you understand who you're working with, the chicken list goes away. Are you guys with me? Okay, now, we're participating in the fastest growing industries out there. Home, business, and wellness. Who's excited about wellness? 
Y'all, y'all got to excuse me. I just had my Chromadex. I'm telling you, I ran, before I came over, I ran four miles a day, right? And when I took my shower, I could see my ribs now. I ain't seen my ribs in 20 years. I can see my ribs. I'm telling you, that's freaking exciting. I haven't seen these ribs in 20 years. I'm feeling real good right about now. $500 billion industry that we're able to participate in. Am I making sense? Wellness. Okay, let's talk about, okay, some of the top money earners on the front line here. Some of the top uh, money earners in, in, in the industry. Okay, in our company. You know, most of our platinum senior vice presidents and double platinums, they had no experience in the industry and they come from all walks of life. And most of us only been in the industry around eight years. Am I making sense? We have a strong, robust comp plan. There's 12 different ways that we get paid. And when you take time to find out how you really get paid, your chicken list goes away. All right? Now, we got a robust product line, cutting edge. We are always, what I love about the company, the company is always on the cutting edge. I remember we started with five links. Eight years ago, we had a video phone that looked like a fax machine. Everybody at the bus garage, I used to take it to the bus garage, everybody started laughing. And I used to tell them, I said, listen, the technology only gonna get better. They kept saying, gone with that. <laughs> Look at where we are now. Am I making sense? Let's talk about some people on your chicken list. How many people got doctors on their chicken list by a show of hands? Just wave if you got a doctor. Come on now, we're family. You got to connect with me here. Okay, how many got some lawyers? Okay, got a few lawyers. How about real estate brokers and agents? Anybody? Okay. How about business owners? Anybody got any traditional business owners? All right. Corporate America, anybody? Got, them ones in corporate America, boy. Let me tell you, every time I get them, I call Mondas Holloman. Boy, he takes care of that for me. He got two master's degrees. Are you guys with me? The list is not exclusive. Now let's talk about some of the platinum, some of the people in, in five links. And when you get this, guys, the chicken list goes away because these people are that you that's on your chicken list, we got them right here in the company. Am I making sense? Yes or no? Okay, now, how about du platinum, double, platinum senior vice president, Marty and Israel Wren? Now, prior to five links, Israel Wren was a five-time world championship boxer. Anybody got any athletes on their chicken list? Okay. Marty Wren was a boxing promoter. He worked hand-in-hand with Don King. He did the last fight that Mike Tyson had in Washington, D.C. And when Mike Tyson got knocked out, his money went away. He also was in real estate. He was a big real estate guru. Are you guys with me? The people that's in your chicken list are right here in five links. Okay? And when you get this down in your soul, your chicken list is just going to go away. Now, here's my two favorites. Who got any lawyers on their chicken list? Guys, we got two prominent attorneys. Former attorneys, that is. Mr. Barry Johnson, stand up, Barry. Let's give him a round of applause. Let me tell you, ain't nobody smarter than Barry. I'm telling you. Where's Thomas? Is Thomas around? Thomas Felder? Is Thomas in the house? Let's get Thomas a round of applause. <laughs> Guys, th these are two of the top, were two of the top attorneys in the state of Maryland. Had their own practice. Shut the practice down, long story short, got involved with Five Links, okay, and now doing Five Links full time. 
And guess who's standing on their shoulders? The bus driver. <laughs> Off the good PhD. Am I making sense in here? See, when you get this, when you understand who you got in your company, the chicken list goes away. How many of you guys got party promoters? Anybody got party promoters? Trust me, they are hurting, they're broke. Where's Tupac? Is Tupac in the room? Stand up, Tupac. My little brother. Straight gangster. Yeah. How about pastors? Any pastors? Anybody got any pastors? Where Doc and Adrian? I seen them earlier. Doc and Adrian, stand up, Doc and Adrian. Pastor Crutch. Soon to be platinum senior vice president. And you keep letting that little voice telling you, I ain't going to talk to pastor this Sunday because he busy. I ain't going to talk to pastor this Sunday because he busy. I'm going to wait the Bible study. Are you guys getting this? Get this, guys. Churches are closing because people can't tithe. There's pastors that's looking for the deal. And you're creating stories in your head that ain't real. Somebody say, show the plan. How about corporate America? Mr. Lee Garrett, is Lee in the room? My man. I mean, Lee went to the Warden School of Business. Lee also worked on Wall Street. But now he does five links. And he loves five links. Are we getting this? These are the people on your chick list and you will never speak, talk to them about the deal because of that little voice in your head. Who has any doctors in there? Jasper Brewster, JBN tonight. JB! Dentist. This guy, I honor you, JB. He travels all over the country, around the world, I'm sorry, and serve for free. Let's give him a round of applause. I am honored to be partnered with JB. Am I making sense? When you get this, the chicken list goes away. Who has any politicians? Where's Patricia Van Pelt? <laughs> Illinois State Senator holds the company record to senior vice president. She's jacked about the deal. But guess what you keep saying? I ain't gonna talk to my mayor. That little county with a hundred people. For real? And we got a state senator that's, that's jacked about the deal and you won't talk to your little mayor, your little county? Who's making $60,000 a year? For real? When you understand this guys, the chicken list goes away. Are we getting this? Okay. Now, Here's what we want to do. How many people, again, that stood up to say they have a chicken list? Please stand up one more time. Who wants to know the secret sauce, how to get rid of that list? Here's the deal. Y'all ready? Come out the closet and get rid of all the stories. Because the stories that you're telling yourself ain't real. Am I making sense? You cannot get to SVP and platinum with this company if you're an undercover agent. If you're in business and no one knows you in business, you're not in business. Do we get this? Yes or no? Now, here's what I need to do real quickly. I only got about five minutes. I need three people 
from the stands to come to the stage real quick. We're going to get rid of that chicken list today. And I need you to bring your list. Three people real quick. Just come up real quick. Can I get three people? Stay at ET then. Okay, come on right here. Get that mic right there. What's your name? Get the, get the mic right here. I need two more people. All I need is three guys. Okay. All right. All right, come right here. Come right here. Line up. Okay, y'all line up back here. I want to deal one at a time. I only need, I can't do no more than four. We only got a few minutes. Okay, all right. We're going to do this real quick. Now, what's your name? Charles Simmons. Charles who? Simmons. Charles Simmons, right? Speak loud and clear, right? Now, how long you been in the business? A little over a month. A little over a month. Yes, sir. Who's, what's your position? IMR or ET? ET. ET. Okay, great. Now, who's on your chicken list? I need one person. Joe Sito. Joe who? Sito. S-I-T-T. -T -T. Okay, Joe Sito. What does Joe do full time? Joe runs a, uh, a auto parts store. He runs an auto parts store. Now, he's on your chicken list, yes? Correct. Why? <laughs> he shouldn't be on there. Well, why is he on there? It's a good question. You've been making, you've been creating stories in your head that ain't real, yes? Yes, sir. On three, I want you to say stories be gone. One, two, three. Stories be gone. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Hi, dear. How are you? I'm good. Thank What's you. your name? Cynthia James. Cynthia J James. How long you been in the business? About 30 days. 30 days. Okay, great. Um, uh, what's your position? IMR. She's an IMR. You've been in 30 days. Okay, great. Let's give her a round of applause for being here. Okay. Now, who's on your chicken list? Uh, my broker, Roman. What kind of broker? Uh, real estate. Real estate broker. Roman's on your list. Okay. Why? I, I don't know how to approach him. But now I know after this conference. Okay. Say stories be gone. Stories be gone. Okay, no more limits. Thank you, baby. Get the next one. <laughs> Who's on your list? I mean, no, hold on. What's your name? Paulette Santos. Paulette. Yes, okay. Okay. How long you been in the business? Since September. Since September. Okay, great. Uh, what's your position? I just put on grace period for executive director. Okay, great. Okay. Let's give a round of applause. Ain't bad. <laughs> Who's on your chicken list? He is a real estate instructor guru. His name is Larry Harbolt. Larry Harbolt? Yes. Okay. Florida. How long you known him? For three years. For three years? Yes, sir. Why is he on your list? He's a very rude, abrupt man. And if it's not real estate, he doesn't want to hear about it. Did y'all hear what she said? He's a very rude, abrupt man. And if it's not real estate, he don't want anything to do with it. Yes? Yes. Did he tell you that? Yes. Well, then he don't want nothing to do with it. He's not on your list. But he's always talking about, show me how to make money, and you got to have some balls, and if you don't have it, Okay, I don't well, then you. guess what? He's creating stories that ain't real. So he goes on your follow-up list, and as soon as that needle starts sticking him hard enough, he'll, 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 he'll take a look at the deal. Who else is on your list? He was the main man. Okay, stories be gone. Stories be gone. All right, let's get, let's get the next one. Awesome. Miss Tiana, how you doing? I'm fine. Okay. Um, how long you been in the business? Six months. Six months. Um, what's your position? Trainer. Excuse me? <laughs> Trainer. Lord. Let's give her a round of applause. Hold on. Listen. So let's just say she been in the business for trainer for, for six months, right? Let's say it take you two years to get to ET. Two more years to get to ED. Two more years to get to ND. Two more years to get to platinum. Would it be worth it? Okay. Here's the deal. Give me one person on your chicken list. What's their name? Kenneth Friedman. Kenneth Friedman, what does he do full time? He's a pathologist, but he's a millionaire. 
I'm a bus driver and I'm a millionaire. And I don't have no student loans. Okay. Okay, we got a few minutes. Why is he on your list? Because he's a millionaire? Because he's already successful in his own right. And I think he would, I, I don't know. He's already successful in his own right. Let me share, share this with you guys, right? When you make your first million, you spend 1.2 million. Who knows what I'm talking about, any business owners in the room? Most millionaires, Tiana, they go broke before they make their second million. I wish we had Frank Kimbrough. Is Frank in the house? Marty in the house? Amen? Yeah. So, why is he on your list? Because I've known him forever and he really likes me, but I just feel like he would look at the opportunity like, what? Five million? It's a story. It ain't real. It is. It is a story. You've created a story in your head that ain't real. Let me ask you this real quick. We only got a few minutes. What's your why in this business? Come on, we're all family. Let's stop playing here. What's your why? What do you want from this deal? I don't want my children to have to want for anything. What does that mean? I don't want my children to eat oodle noodles anymore. <laughs> what does that mean? What is that? What do you want for your, what do you want? Be specific about what do you want for your children? I want to leave a legacy behind. I want them to know that if they put their mind to anything, they can do anything they want. They can be anything they want. I don't want money to ever be an issue in regards to college. I want them, I just want them to live a good life. Would you want them to be like you? Yes. And have a chicken list? No. <laughs> no, you didn't stand. No, you didn't. <laughs> I said we all family, yes? Who wants a breakthrough? <laughs> Tiana, listen to me. As much as I love my boys, when it came to business, I didn't want them to be like me. I wanted them to be better than me. <laughs> Do you get this? And I'm gonna share something with you. I don't care how long, you'll never get to SVP until you deal with your chicken list. And it simply means that this guy, this so-called millionaire, means more than what you want for your kids. That's all it means. See, let me, let me, tell you, let me share something with you. For my why, I'll go through a wall. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes with this millionaire. What if he's looking for an opportunity and you got a miracle in your mouth and you won't share it with him? He's actually looking to sell his business. He's looking to sell his business. Why? 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 He's broke! <laughs> Family! You don't just sell a business where you're making tons of money. I ain't selling fire links. Why? He needs to deal. What if he's looking for an opportunity like I was when my nephew didn't share this deal with me? And I was the only person that signed up and I wasn't invited to the meeting. <laughs> then there would be no Barry Don, uh, Johnson, there would be no Marty Israel Wynn. None of these people would be up here if I didn't go down the basement and was nosy. Do you get this? You're creating a story in your head that ain't real. And that's why you guys can't get to the next level because you're creating a story that in your head that ain't real. Do we get this? It's not a game, ladies and gentlemen. There's no easy way to a million bucks. Do you get that? You don't just sign in this business, don't show up and think you're going to make money. Am I making sense? Tiana, we're going to deal with the list. Not tomorrow, tonight. 
me and you. All three, let's give a round of applause. On three, no more limits. One, two, three. No more limits! Awesome. Okay, two more victims. Come to my office. What's your name? Sean Carter. Sean Carter. Oh, middle name Puffy? Yeah. Oh, um, uh, sponsored by Trevor and Shirley Thompson out of the uh, Columbia market, downline from Curtin to Sheena Anderson, team icon. Ooh. See, what's your position? ED, with the downline ED. Kevin yeah. McLean, stand up, baby. Yeah. Hey, listen, do me a favor. Let me have the mic. Stories be gone. Have a seat. That's why he can't get the ND. He want the mic. He wants to be significant. Hey, dude, 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 dude. Police. Y'all see me? Hey, I see you at the WGI party, baby. Come on up. Hey, he don't know the bus driver don't play that. How you doing? Great. All right, calm down. We're about to wrap up real quick. What's your name? Trevor Connor, National Director out of Maryland. Trevor Connor, National Director out of Maryland. Trevor, who's on your list? David Bendy. Who? David Bendy. What does David do? Financial consultant. He's a financial consultant, which means that he likes money. Why is he on your list? Because he's been there, done that, uh, done all of them. Said that he wants to stay with something more stable. So did you already share the deal with him? Mostly, mostly, yes. What does that mean? Somewhere he got in the, the chicken list, I guess, came out in that I didn't go through all the steps. He so said what'd you that, do? Let's go back to when you sat down with him real quick. We got to wrap up. I simply told him that this is something that using leverage, he said, yeah, I know all of that. I've been there. I, I know everything already there is to it. I'm going to say it was something stable. So I respected his opinion and said, okay. Okay, well, well that, that means he's not on your list. You tried to share the deal with him. He wasn't open to receive, yes? Yes. Okay, well, then he's not on your list. He, I, I, I feel he could do more, huh? and I didn't want to give up. Maybe I'll spend him Well, too you put much him on time. your follow-up list. The power's in the follow-up. People don't change until something happened in their life. Yes? Yeah, so you just put them on a the follow-up list. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Okay. All three stories be gone. One, stories two, three. Stories be gone. Thank you, guys. Now. Okay. Now, here's the deal. We, I'm going to wrap up. I got like, like 30 seconds. Understand, guys, that nobody's above the deal. Did we get that this afternoon? Okay. People are looking for opportunity. Can I get my slides up, back up? People are looking for opportunity. Okay, now, in order to, to get to SVP, you're going to have to deal with your chicken list. Period, point blank, end of story. And all it is, guys, is just a choice. I made a choice that I was going to deal with this chicken list of mine. And when I made the choice because my why was so much bigger, I chose to go out and talk to people, everybody on that list. Okay, that's how I was able to re recruit Tupac and Marty and all of the rest of the people that's in my organization. I just chose to do it, to take massive action. Does that make sense? Because I chose to do it, guys, I'm able to live a platinum life. And it has nothing to do with your background. So today, what I want to share with you, this deal is so much bigger than you. This is the message I want you to get. This opportunity is so much bigger than you. Your dream is not your own. Are you guys with me? Your dream is not your own. You got to show this plan to everybody because people need an opportunity. People are hurting out there. And because I took massive action, I was able to start my own foundation, the Richards Group Foundation, 
I was able to go back into the same ghetto where I grew up every Monday from five to seven through all of the drug dealers and teach kids to see beyond their circumstances. Are you guys with me? And it all started with a choice. Did anybody get value this evening? Thank you guys for having me. My name is Stan Richards, author of the book, From the Bus to the Bentley, No More Limits. Thank you, Five Links.